Hi everyone, it's Amber from Stampin' Oasis. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, today's project is this, what I am calling, I think I'm gonna call it um, an extra large stationary gift box. Um, Cause that's what it is. So in this video, I'm literally just gonna whiz through the box itself, the things I've got in it. And then on a part two, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it in a different style. So this is using the new um, Bumblebee cardstock. Um, we've got some new gold hoops from the same suite. I think it's um, Celebrate Flowers. We've got the Sunflowers. Um, Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set, which I've used to make my own DSP for the front um, with the leaves and stuff. And then some of the cards have got the matching DSP which is flowers for every season dsp and i've got some of my bits and pieces that are just scraps i keep all of them um, you never know when they're going to come in handy but yeah these are really beautiful papers and if you're like me um where you prefer the sort of more autumny colors like the yellows and the browns it's got all of that on one side and then on the other side you've got these lovely pinks these are using all the new in colors which is bumblebee cinnamon cider magenta madness misty moonlight and oh god what's the other one i can't remember the name of the green one now uh just jade that's it it's got poppy parade and whisper white as well put those to one side so i'm literally going to show you just if you pop this off um i was i'm in an iron about how to do the closure for this for oh days if not weeks um i shared on a stamping up group the dsp i made and it must have been about three weeks ago now i've been trying to make this but that's why i haven't made a video just life gets in the way i'm still <laughs> heavily pregnant um had a few bits going on so yeah it's just been a bit difficult but i'm glad to be back to filming like i said this is just to show you guys but afterwards i will be doing a tutorial part two of this hopefully tomorrow um so it opens up like so i am gonna have to move it across because you're not gonna be able to see it um it is really quite large so in this front bit here we have got um space for a notebook or like a jotter pad shopping list whatever you want these ones got in a pack of three from asda i believe for one pound fifty and i really like that they're just like a sort of neutral color they've got the gold as well and then in this bit here i've got just some mini note cards that one says just amazing and then these envelopes were from the best dressed um collection which i believe you can still get and then this was from these labels are all made using the lovely labels or pick a punch label um punch which i shall grab in a moment and that's the scallop tab tag topper but i really like the font of that um the stamp set lovely i believe it's lovely you I'm gonna to have to double check that so yeah all the measurements again I will put on my blog and I will also give you in the next video when we make a different one I think I'm gonna do it in the forever fern or forever greenery three um so yeah I've used my own DSP throughout for all the bigger bits because the sunflowers DSP is only six by six whereas this measures oh it's not my camera um seven inches in total so yeah I had to do that and then on either side we have got so on this side here you've got the cards and the envelopes and exactly if i swing it across fold that back up there exactly the same on the other side so when it folds out it really is quite long as you can see i can't even get it on camera um these envelopes are also really nice these are the oh god i've forgotten the name i'll link it all in my blog um but there's all again the matching new in colors for those envelopes and then wait for it oh look at that <laughs> i love these cards so this is using the jar of flowers stamp set which also comes with a matching punch which i just love it's just so easy you don't have to do any die cutting and then you get these really cute little shaker domes so that's where you put the little beads so you get these little beads which are called flowers for every season gems and they are just so so lovely they're really nice um so this this was made i made i'm, I'm making this because i'm gifting it to somebody um who likes my cards and likes to use them and send them for all different kinds of occasions um so the stand these ones here perfectly fit the memories and more so all of these 
ones here are using the memories and more cards with the envelopes that's what they're from for this exact suite so for the flowers for every occasion suite really cute bow and I've just used some gilded gems so really quick and easy to put together that's why I love the memories and more card packs again this one fits perfectly in the dots around it again from the memories and more card packs I'm really sorry about the lighting today the glare is not good um so yeah it says you inspire me celebrate um really nice sentiments and then these ones are just left plain because I think they're just perfect like for any occasion and you can stamp your sentiment on the inside which I haven't done yet but I will get around to doing that um so yeah they're just really lovely and these again are using the matching ribbons you've got cinnamon cider with the cinnamon cider cardstock and misty moonlight and same again on the other side so if you didn't have the shaker domes in there you could probably i would say get about 10 cards if you haven't got too much dimension um because these ones really aren't i mean these are an inch this box is an inch thick so but these shaker domes, as you can see, have got quite a bit of depth to them. So if you were going to post them, it would be slightly more expensive as well. You can just put a stamp on it. Um, but yeah, no, I just thought I'd come on quickly, share this stationary gift box with you. Um, and like I said, either later today or tomorrow, I will upload a video of how I put it all together and measurements, etc. And it will all be in a blog post as well. Um, so I hope you like it. And that's what it looks like from the top. So yeah, you've got all your cards and envelopes on the sides, note cards, um, shopping list or a notebook, and gift tags as well. So it's perfect for making your, if you want to, like me, wrap your own presents in sort of like craft paper and stamp your own images and just put a nice little gift tag on it. The belly band is using one of the gold hoops and then this Celebrate is like a sticky sentiment i don't know if you see it. it's like an ombre i need to hide the glue dot a bit better though and the ribbon again was from the ribbon combo pack that comes with this suite it's really lovely and you can um color this as well using your pens or your inks um so yeah really pretty but i hope you like it and i will be back later on to show you how to make it thanks so much for joining me bye